Hey guys, it's Poxbro. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm going to be showcasing how to get crystals um, in my series of junk guide videos. And today, the first area that we can go to is going to be Lucky Hole Mine. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you're at Lucky Hole Mine and you arrive, you can go ahead and just navigate into the actual mine itself. You're just going to have to get past the exterior. And there's usually going to be some enemies here. Once you're past the exterior and you can just actually make it into the interior. All right, and once we are inside, we're gonna be looking for crystal ore. And like all ore, um, I'm gonna recommend using excavator power armor for better yields. Um, you only need the excavator torso um, and you don't really need any other piece. So if you have that on standby, I would recommend doing that with this route. Um, but if you don't want to do the ore route because you don't have the acid to smelt down the crystal ore, um, then I'll go ahead and showcase some other ways that you can get crystal without needing acid and a excavator torso. And you're essentially going to want to just navigate all the way through the end of the tunnel. And as you go through, you're going to be able to find various different um, ores on the walls. I think we can mostly find lead veins. So if you're interested in lead, this is another method. Uh, or you can kind of double dip, get lead and crystal. But you can see that at this point in the tunnel, there's also going to be crystal on the walls. Quite a bit of Mothman, actually. Um, but right here, we have crystal on the wall. So this is a crystal vein. So I'm going to go ahead and mine this. And you get four raw crystal per mine. And you can mine each of them twice. So each vein is going to get you eight raw crystal. And there is about 20 crystal ore veins in this actual tunnel um, in this mine. So you want to go ahead and make sure you get most of them. That way, you can maximize your crystal returns. And most of the crystal is towards the end of the tunnel. You can see it where it starts to actually go into more of like a, a tunnel kind of vibe right here where the split is. Uh, before it's more like open rooms and whatnot. So you just want to go ahead and navigate all the way through. Um, if you want, right when you enter the mine, there's going to be a door that requires lock picking. Um, you can pick the lock and it's kind of like a shortcut, but you are going to miss some lead. Um, but yeah, you can do that if you'd like and then just navigate past this and down through here and then you can actually go into these little tunnels and start getting the crystal. Um, so once you have all the crystal that you need, you can go ahead and um, smelt it down at a chem station. But like I said, you are going to need some acid. So if you need help getting acid, I'll go ahead and have a link in the description to a acid guide that I made. That way you can get enough acid to actually smelt down all of the ore. And if you're looking for excavator power armor, I also have a guide to that. That'll be in the description. That way you can get an excavator torso. And then you can start getting double yields from all of the mines and all of the ores that you're going to be harvesting in the future but other than this method there's going to be a couple other ways to get crystal so, so let's go ahead and get started on those i do want to mention really quick that up over here in tangara uh in tangra town there's going to be a big tree with a bunch of cave crickets in it at the very top of the tree there's going to be like a little cave into the tree and there's going to be crystal veins there as well so if you still want to do the ore method you can farm tangra town and you can farm uh lucky hole mine but other than ore you can actually still loot items and scrap them down into crystal and this will require no acid um and we can go ahead and navigate to this mothman location called the uh, Clancy Manor. This is like a moth cultist area, um, mothman cultist area. But yeah, so if you go over here, we can loot several items that we can then break down into crystal. We are going to be looking for 19 crystal liquor decanter and three broken pro snap cameras and um, possibly three magnifying glasses and one broken camera. And I'll have a list in the description to other areas that you can loot, but this is pretty much the area that seems to be the that seems to have the most junk that you can loot in scrap and since this is a exterior location you can actually server hop so you can disconnect from that your current server reconnect and check to see if clancy manor is actually refreshed with all the loot that you can then pick back up and then scrap down in the crystal and um, a really quick mention before we go to Clancy Manor is that another alternate method is to kill floater freezers or flatwood monsters that can drop crystal shards or material that you can scrap down into crystal, but they don't really have reliable spawns, so I'm not really gonna showcase them in this video. And then there's also gonna be a map for resource deposits where you can put your camp on a on a crystal deposit and then you can harvest crystal that way at your camp. And I'll have that linked in the description as well. But let's go ahead and head on over to Clancy Manor. 
There are a bit of enemies at this location, but once you clear them out, <laughs> you can go ahead and navigate to the interior of the building. And right here is a magnifying glass, so this is one of the items that we're going to be looking for. Get a recipe spawn here as well. Um, and uh, you can always go to a workbench and navigate to the item that you're looking for and then mark it for search. So if you're looking for an item, you'll see a magnifying glass next to the name if it actually gives you the uh, junk that you need. Let me see if anything around here has an example of that. Like right here, this coffee pot, I have the material that the coffee pot will give me marked for search. So that tells me to pick up the coffee pot. Um, but this is a broken ProSnap camera, so we can take that. And you pretty much want to go ahead and loot the downstairs and the upstairs. You can see there's another broken pro snap camera. And then once you do that, you can server hop, come back and loot everything up again. And if you need to scrap it down, you can scrap it down here in the chemistry station. You can see we're already getting some crystal. And that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I do want to mention that other than placing your camp around on a deposit, there are some workshops that give you crystal. So for example, this one right here, Thunder Mount Power Plant Yard, all the way on the right side of the map, well, you'll see there's crystal available right there. So if you want, you can claim a workshop if you don't want to move your camp. And that way you can claim crystal um, at a workshop. But that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you have any positive or negative feedback, also let me know. That way I can improve. But otherwise, until next time.